Oh, good morning. Uh, now let's bring to you the latest news headlines. We're just getting news from the wires that the um, Ghana Immigration Service and the Director for Immigration, as part of administrative measures, has decided to realign ranks of senior officers, uh, which is commensurate with various appointments stipulated in the Immigration Service Regulations of 2016, LI 2245. And so the Controller General of the Immigration Service, um, Mr. Kwame Isiatechi, has reassigned some of his senior officers with immediate effect. These changes uh, seek to inject various um, sort of dynamism and innovation into newly assigned roles and responsibilities at various commands. And uh, according to the statement, uh, a number of um, regional commanders, uh, for example, the commander for the Kutuka International Airport, the Deputy Commissioner of Immigration, uh, has now been uh, taken to head the Information Management Department of the Ghana Immigration Service. He's also to be replaced by an Assistant Commissioner of Immigration, Edith Quay, currently with the Tema Regional Command. We have a number of those uh, announcements also coming in. And uh, the rest are um, com Commissioner of uh, Immigration, Abdul Rashid Awal, is going to the Tema Regional Command. And then the current uh, officer in charge of the harbor um, is going to be the officer in charge of the Western Regional Enforcement. So we'll bring you a lot more details. It's been signed by the Head of Public Affairs, Superintendent Michael Amwakon Atta. Uh, let's move on. Two um, members of a family of six persons who lost their lives in the Newmont Ahafo mines collapse incident in the Bono Ahafo region are currently blaming the company for the deaths of their relatives. The families in Newmont had foreknowledge of the cause of deaths but failed to respond in time when it was brought to their attention. Six contract workers of Newmont Ghana's Ahafo mill expansion project died after the mine's tunnel roof collapsed over the weekend. Operations have since been suspended. Join News Ernest Mainu, join the Lands and Natural Resources Minister to visit the accident scene and the bereaved families in our reports. We are here at the Afro Mines of Newmont, Ghana. Uh, this is where the incident happened, where the expansion work being uh, carried out by the company uh, resulted in the death of six people. Eight people were working here, six died, four bodies were retrieved last night, the two were retrieved early this morning, and all six bodies have been deposited at the Shidim Government Hospital. So uh, we'll go in there and find out exactly what it looks like. So we stop now. So we're doing nothing. This is this so this is uh, the, the real force okay. the concrete uh what was steel structure which appeared to keep. So this is where the bodies were, were trapped, that's yeah. right. Yeah. What's the thickness of the slab? Approximately one meter. One, one meter, meter thickness. Thick. Mm. Yeah. The total volume of the concrete that was being poured was 80 cubic. No, uh, it was uh, during the pouring. During the pouring. During the pouring. But the question, like, and, okay, and then, I'll leave you to the test. test you and so what actually happened during the pouring? The the workers were asked to come down. Uh, again, that's under investigation, and we'll have to to wait till that is. But who was at the complete. site? Somebody should. The supervisor. The supervisor. Who was there? You are you are the mines manager. Hey, no, hey, I'm, I'm the project project manager for the whole expansion. For the whole expansion. Yes. And you have no idea exactly what happened. That would uh, be again, quite surprising. Again. Yes, it did. Oh, wow. Who? So, so this contractor is a subcontractor. So does he went directly? Does he report to you? He uh, reports. He, he the contract is between Consar and Newmont. Newmont. Okay. So he reports to Newmont. Yes. Okay. The civil engineering contract. Okay. Uh, but all the bodies have been. Two, 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 two. How many bodies actually? Six. 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 Yeah. And uh, there was two up. And no, they told that they were eight, were eight of them. They were eight, were, eight of them went down. Well, and so two we're able to, up. and then the two, two up. so we're able to ret we were rescue two, the two, 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 two from the quickly, but the remaining six. Okay. And uh, you 
know, you might also have the structural engineer who designed this, isn't it? Or oh, it's a design and build like concept. No, it's, uh, it was designed by a, an engineering firm and constructed by Consa. So you have an idea who that... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, so the mine inspectorate will, will, will take it up, and uh, but the ministry is very keen, and I mean, uh, <coughs> as government, we really want to uh, find out the details and what actually happened. Um, it's quite surprising, you know, that we know Newmont has a lot of uh, safety records, and, mm -hmm. and for us, that's why we mm -hmm. was quite uh, a surprising news to, to us, you know. Yeah. It means that you just started a slab, you have finished all the retaining walls, yeah. mm -hmm. and you're going to pass it. The slab right. How long is it? I, I don't know the specific uh, no length, yet. but it was going to be poured in, in a number of segments. Mining activities in the Achim mine, for instance, has been suspended. Even at this place, uh, mining activities so far have been suspended. And um, the, however, it is worth noting that essential state services are still. The minister has brought this schnapp. In line with tradition, he can't come empty-handed. He wants the family to know that he is with them in this painful moment. So when prayers are said using the schnapp, he requests that some be said on his behalf so he can offer support when the time is due. When the family heard of the incident, we were in grief and Newmont authorities came later to confirm it. This morning, the authorities came here again and took some of the family members to the mortuary. <laughs> Shortly after the Newmont authorities informed us of the deaths, their vehicle ran over two children from the same family and killed them when they were coming from the farm. One family, four deaths. My mom says when my brother was called to go to work yesterday, he resisted because he wasn't on duty. He was forced and now they've killed him. Both of them uh, have left a wife, a wife and then a child. But um, Ebenezer's wife just delivered about six months ago. Yeah, so. Condolences to the family. And they are both uh, uh, related? <laughs> yeah. Ebenezer is the uncle to Bismarck. In fact, we are, we are all family members. I'm the assemblyman for the area. I will bring you a lot more on this um, outcome of that incident that was reported at the Newmont mine. Now let's move on. Agriculturists at the University of Cape Coast, they're calling for a concerted effort to inculcate in school children the importance of agriculture to make government's flagship programs on agriculture 
more meaningful. According to the agriculturists, misconceptions about studying agriculture at the primary school level is affecting further enrollment of students at the country's universities and the various agricultural colleges. The call was made at the launch of the homecoming of the School of Agricultural Graduates of the University of Cape Coast. Well, Richard Kujinaku has more in the following report. The agric scientist lauded government's numerous initiatives on agric as a great move that should arouse the consciousness of the country to see agric as a viable tool for economic and social development. Dean of the School of Agric at the University of Cape Coast, Professor Elvis Asaribidiakon, wants the perception that has been created in the minds of young people, especially students, about agric change. The negative perception, according to him, is seriously affecting the enrollment of students into the schools and colleges of agri in the entire country. In fact, our enrollment uh, so far has not been very encouraging. Um, the, the number, if you look at nationwide, and I mean, my interaction with colleagues, uh, deans outside, tells me that the level, the number of students enrolling into the agri program generally has gone down. But the problem, the, the, the serious aspect of it is that if you look at the enrollment of school of agri, the percentage proportion to the total enrollment of the school, the university, then it means our numbers have gone down. And I, still, I think that there's a need to reverse this. And this reverser, you know, the alumina has a role to play. Because we, have, we are the ambassador of the school. We have to go there and sell the school. Generally, I would say yes, in a, in a, you know, because you realize that uh, formally, when you finish even Greek colleges, you know, the MOFA is to, uh, you know, absorb them. And after, for some time, you know, they stop absorbing them. So even uh, the graduate from uh, agri colleges, you know, they are no more uh, absorbing them, you know. And, and some of these things are really discouraged people from. And if you look at the program, they even used to offer agri at SS and GSS level. And now all these are with the, you know, the educational reforms. They are no more having some of these programs there. And so it's really narrowing the opportunities for the graduates. Convener of the past students of the School of Agri at the University of Cape Coast, Professor Daniel Okainti, says the university hopes to form a formidable group to influence government policies on Agri to improve the lot of Ghanaians. But it's, it's, it's the looking down of agriculture at the lower levels. I mean, agriculture used to be studied as a subject right from the basic school to secondary schools where you had school farms and everything, you know. But that interest has just dwindled. It has dwindled. It has become a part or fused into integrated science. So you don't get the caliber of enthusiastic students coming into the university to pursue agriculture. That, that is the main issue. You know, I believe it is about time that we got back to our roots. Richard Kwejunya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast. And that's it for the news, but we have a lot more news. We'll be reviewing the newspapers and uh, we'll be looking at a lot more stories on the various online portals, of course, myjohnline.com and the rest. But as always, you can watch us live, Facebook, join us on TV and through a handle. You can give us more of your messages, but also on YouTube, we have a channel there, My Online TV. But that's what it is for now. We have to take a break. When we come back, myself, Mamavi Usuabwaji and the rest of the team will bring you the review of the newspapers. We'll follow up with the latest sports actions and the reviews that have come from the various weekend sporting activities. We know that the Commonwealth Games is ongoing in Australia, the city of Gold Coast. And then we'll bring you latest from the world of football. But for all that, please stick and stay. We'll be right back.